Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Disney has released two new animated films in 2021. First was Raya and the Last Dragon, and now Encanto is in theaters and winning over audiences with that traditional Disney magic. And I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Both films continue Disney's efforts at showcasing other cultures and traditions, with Encanto centering on a magical family who live in the mountains of Colombia. The magical family has been gifted a special, everlasting candle that has provided life's blessings for generations. There are special gifts and talents passed down from one generation to the next. That is, until young Mirabelle, who's voiced by Stephanie Beatriz, has been skipped over. Now, she's grown up feeling ordinary and like the odd one out in her family. Now, on the night of her cousin Antonio's blessing, Mirabel starts to see the walls of the family estate start to crack, jeopardizing their special encanto. It's up to her to find a miracle in order to save her family and the foundation. The film also features the voices of John Leguizamo, Wilmer Valderrama, Maria Cecilia Botero, and Jessica Darrow. Encanto comes from the writing team of Cherise Castro-Smith and Jared Bush, who co-directed with Byron Howard. And they have a really lively beginning on their hands, drawing the audience into the magical world of Encanto and each member of the magical family, with Mirabel acting as the story's protagonist. Now, she's spunky and unique thanks to Stephanie Beatrice, who you may also remember from In the Heights and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Mirabelle doesn't always fit in, and it's a journey of self-love and discovery for her to really understand her own self-worth outside of others around her. Now, each one of her family members comes with a really big personality, like her sister Louisa, who is given the gift of strength, or her sister Isabella, who is perfect and successful in every way. And Stephanie Darrow is a huge scene stealer as Louisa. Encanto feels like a smaller, more intimate story for Disney. Don't expect it to be the grand epic like Frozen, Raya and the Last Dragon, or even Beauty and the Beast. Mirabelle is not your standard Disney princess, nor are there talking animal sidekick characters, and surprisingly, it doesn't even have the traditional villain character. But don't worry, there's still plenty of magic and humor throughout. Lin-Manuel Miranda, who is everywhere right now, provides the film's catchy music in the style that you're, we're all familiar with if you know his work. Now, there are some fun numbers, but I don't think that any of them really stood out to me to be the next Disney classic like Let It Go or How Far I'll Go. Encanto is a lovely story that the whole family should easily enjoy, and it's wonderful to see Colombian characters represented. Now, there are some obvious metaphors throughout, providing some good talking points for kids about how the walls of our house and our family foundation can come crumbling down if one person doesn't feel like a member of the family. I'm giving Uncanto three and a half out of five ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I get some of the movie reviews, as well as my appearance on Twin Cities Live. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter, at Paul's Movie Trip, and then go to my website, Paul's trip to the movies.com for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Encanto. This is Paul's trip to the movies.